Hello guys, welcome to Jimmy Shave. I'm hoping this is going to be the midweek shave, but we never know in my job. Okay, well, I thought I was going to be uh, home today, but I wasn't. I, uh, I got home, I was home for nine hours, straight back out, but I'm only out for one night, but I'm currently staying in a hotel near Leeds Bradford Airport, a uh, place called Bramoth. Uh, people who are familiar with West Yorkshire might know where I am, but that's where I am tonight, West Yorkshire, a place called Bramoth, just on the edge of uh, Leeds Bradford Airport and got a new razor got a new razor this is the packaging this is the burger burger of Solingen a razor hobble safety razor there's the old German address there and we've got the American address there from the US just a basic box really razor came in at 20 quid I think it's a, a company called Cutthroat Razor, something like that. I think the name of the company is it's all over Facebook at the moment. And I thought, I've not got a burger, DE Razor. So I thought, I'll have to rectify that. And here it is the said razor. Smooth handle, not too keen on the smooth handle, but I do like the look of the smooth handle. It's just the actual practicality of shaving with the smooth handle. You do need to get used to it. You need to keep your fingers uh, free of lava, etc. Yeah, but there it is, totally unused. I have yet to use it. Oh, that's what unused means, Jim. Come on, stop talking, stupid. Okay, got some things here on my phone, just to uh, some specs, just to quickly read out here. Here we can find them. Product specifications: overall length, ninety-five millimeters. The weight, seventy-four grams. Handle material, metal. That's helpful, isn't it? Metal. It's metal. Colour, silver. Well, thanks for telling us that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> okay, so introducing the Burka Razor Slicer. <laughs> razor Slicer. That sounds vicious, doesn't it? The Razor Slicer. So, the Burka Razor Slicer Classic 2. A time honored razor that embodies the essence of classic design crafted from chrome plated all metal construction. This razor is a testament to enduring quality and craftsmanship. This razor plays paid homage to the heritage of shaving and all that guff, you know. So, that's what we're shaving with today. Must put a blade in it on, mustn't I? Set the handle off. The thread isn't as smooth as a lot of razors. It's 20 quid. I'm championing a lot of uh, bargain razors lately. You see the uh, underside of the base blade there, I don't know if you can see some. Not the best chroming, is it? It's not the best coating, but 20 quid. Again, not the best of finishes. And underneath the top cap. It's quite surprising that that finish really, even though it's a 20 pound razor from Germany, it's uh, Germans are usually quite fussy, aren't they? That's a new razor, using a familiar blade. Euromax, Euromax, Euromax. Bloody yell. That's your own marks. So I'll just put this thing together. That's it, first time out of it. And there you see. There's the blade show. We're in a tricky situation here, fellas, again, with regard to lights. Just got some overhang there, about. I'd say three quarters of a millimetre overhang here at the end of each so you have to watch you don't catch your nostrils with that brush I'm going to be using is the UK Wet Shaving Society limited edition brush made by Steve, Tint Steve Tinter at Alpha Brushworks and the soap as I'm using a Burka razor I'm going to be using my Heinrich Burka Brown Werk Tallowit Tobacco Shaving soap. Only ever seen this once. I bought it in a shop in Austria. I've not seen it anywhere else. But it's uh, rock on puck. It's like the triple mill of the lab variety. And it just smells of sweet tobacco. It's really, really nice. Nothing else, just tobacco. My kind of scent. Comes in this little aluminium tin. So, I suppose I better wet the mush. 
No, I'll lather up first, what mine was. No, I've got to wet them all first, because I'm face lathering. Jim, you're talking crap. I know. Okay, so it's going to be a face lathering shave, this. Brand new razor. In fact, I think you want to use this like a shave stick. So I'll get the puck out and Tango base soap. When I head shave using the puck soap, this is the way I do it. I'm just going to leave that out to dry. Get a brush. Now, when you face low and you put the soap on the face like this, get the brush a good squeeze. Otherwise, everything's just going to run off. Incredible scent. You know when you're a soap or a scent, the smell of something and just that. Like you'll, get, you'll get a lot of scents like patchouli, tobacco, with your favourites, whatever. You'll see that in the name and you think, oh, lovely. You get the soap. It's been blended with the uh, other essential oils, fragrances, whatever, frags. In the end, it smells nothing like what you expected. This isn't one of those soaps. You want tobacco? You've got tobacco. Look at that Golands, look at that guys. You know, I didn't put a shed load of soap on the face. Look at that lava. Did you use this soap once before? Look at all that here. It's like a Kiwi shaved lava, that. Excellent. Seems a shame to waste that. I wonder if I can stick it back on the brush just in case I need it. Don't be so tight, Jim. Don't be so tight. Right. So it's currently quarter past nine in the evening. Okay. So I'm just going to call it. Well, it's, it's the Burka Slicer. The Burka Razor Slicer 2. I'm going to call it the Burka. Classic two. Just some bright colours in the quill the slicer, does he? First news is the first stroke, brand new Eurovax blade. And it feels exactly as I imagined it would feel. Mild. Budget razor. Oh, feels nice. Can't knock it yet. Blade feels nice, secure, clamped down well. This is where I've got to watch my nostrils with the other ring. If you do get a razor that does have that hole that hang, and you do cut yourself with it, it hurts because obviously it's not as sharp as dead blade, that'd be silly, wouldn't it? But uh, sharp enough to give you a bad cut, and instead of slicing you, it'll rip you. So you'll feel a bugger. I wish you bought a tobacco wear. Send a splash with me now. Slickness is good. 
can't remember how much they soap was over in Austria, but whatever it was, it was worth it because a little wee from the uh, lip there. Of course they are. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm actually not that far from home really if I was uh, at least Bradford Airport. I'm probably about an hour and a half away from home. But uh, just got to take the folks out. The customers, the passengers, whatever you want to call them, this customers. <laughs> got to take them out uh, on the North Yorkshire Dales National Park tomorrow. I mean, even though it's so local to me, it's not uh, it's not an area I've got a lot of ex a great deal of experience with. I drove through the area, past the area, and around the area, but I've never actually taken people to tour the area. I've got the mirror steaming up here, so I'm just hoping the lens isn't steaming up. Tastes nice. If I think on, now I know I always say this, I'll find the link for this razor. I always say it, and so many times I don't do it, but I will make an effort to do it this time. Because I've only seen it, to be fair, I've only seen it advertised on the uh, the one platform. Maybe some of you have uh, come across it. You know when Facebook targets you? Oh, he looks like a lot of razors, he looks like a lot of raising soaps, raising soaps, shaving soaps. And you get bombarded. By all these ads. But this particular company that this razor came from, I uh I can only say I had never heard of them before. Mailed within the UK. Arrived within a few days. It's a very comfortable shaver. Ah, but how efficient. It's doing the job. So it's not, it's not rubbish. It's a very good job, actually. Rinse off. Get ready for pass number three. Just give me a little cheat. The cheat you can only do when you've got a good soap. Which is what this is. to it on the face rocket. Right. Yep. So, after tomorrow, I do get two days off.
Then we're going to uh, North Wales. Four days. Amsterdam for three days. And I know I've got a Spain coming up. Costa Brava. Somebody's got to go and work in these places. Might as well be me. Yeah, good feel to the razor, good shave. Actually, I haven't had the uh, handle slip on me once. Dodgy side of my moustache. Okay, I expect it to do a little bit more left there. I do with both razors. Whoops. Really happy with that. It's in there. Cold rinse, cold rinse. Little sting off the water. <laughs> That not bad. Perfect. Oh, a little bit of blood on the white towel. So obviously, I did much did uh, get a weaver on the lip there. But nothing serious. Some in the shave. PBS. The feel of the like face debating feel. That's cracking. Such a affordable razor. Twenty quid. 20 quid delivered. They can't be beaten. Okay. Menon. Refreshing. Blah, blah, blah. You read it. I can't. I've got my specs on. Great. That was a fair old sting. It was. Gotta put some more on. Oops, not not that much, but I mind. I like that. You no, know, if you put some splash on, you get a, a fair old burn off it, sting. I always like to put a second application on. Till the sting goes. Then you know everything's right. Then you know everything's right. Lovely. Right, what was I going to do? Oh, hi, somebody asked me, cleaning the shaving brush, and as I got a particularly soapy brush, what was I doing? Running it under the cold water. As I'm doing it, you can see that, I'm rubbing it in my hand like that, under the water. And slight squeezes every now and again. Keep it going, keep it going. Shake it off into the shower or the bath, and what I do then is I squeeze the knot. Now, if there's any soap left in that knot, it'll feel all squidgy, and you'll hear it. You just go back to your water, rinse it off again, and repeat the process. Then 
Herr Zau, hab dort das Umweg. Und stopp ich. Stopp ihr Busch, stopp ihr Busch. That's all I do. That's all clean my brush. Okay, so a quick recap. Razor. Was the Burger Razor Slicer 2? Or the Burger Classic Razor 2? Brush, UK Wet Shaving Society Limited Edition, made by Steve Tinder. Soap. Was the Burger Tobacco? And the splash, whoops, forgot something. The splash was the menin. All in all, pretty good shave, even if I say so myself. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, all the recent likes, subscriptions, comments. I appreciate you all, okay? Enjoy the rest of the week. I'll catch you further down the line. Bye bye now.